Hey guys, I'm Alexander Jasper J, and I love history. It was always my favorite subject in school, and now it's my best category on Trivia Crack. So today, I thought I would talk a little bit about trans history, because it's something I've been super interested in, and it's something I've wanted to look into, and I think maybe other people might feel the same. Anyway, today I'm going to specifically be talking about Harry Benjamin. Now, Harry Benjamin is a cis man born in Berlin in 1885, known for his work with trans patients. Although he was always interested in sexual medicine, Harry Benjamin actually received his doctorate for a dissertation on tuberculosis in 1912, and in 1913, when he moved to the United States, it was to work with a doctor who had claimed, falsely, to have found a cure for tuberculosis. In 1914, a discouraged Benjamin tried to make his way back to Germany, but was stopped by the Royal Navy due to the outbreak of the Great War. He was given a choice, a British internment camp or head back to the States. So Benjamin took what little money he had and moved to New York and opened up a general medical practice where he both worked and lived. It wasn't until 1948 that Alfred Kinsey introduced Harry Benjamin to a young trans girl whose mother sought to treat rather than to thwart. After long, Benjamin then started to treat this patient with hormones, something that had never been done before, and he came under great criticism. However, Benjamin continued to treat trans patients throughout his career, and his patients often regarded him as a caring and kind man who treated them with respect. He kept in contact with many of his patients until his death in 1986 at the age of 101. It's worth mentioning that Benjamin also had an interest in life extension. Harry Benjamin and his views were often considered problematic and still are even within the trans community. But one thing's for certain, without Harry Benjamin and his work, my life and the lives of many other trans people will be entirely different. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I really do love history and I would love to do more videos like this, so please hit that like button and let me know you like it and I might come out with more trans history videos. If any of my information was incorrect, please let me know. I did all I could with the resources that I had. Um, it's generally pretty hard to find articles on trans history given that, you know, trans people are still highly stigmatized. If you would like, I can make a video on why Harry Benjamin and his views are still considered problematic, but I would rather steer clear of that. Uh, I was actually hesitant to do a video on Harry Benjamin for those reasons, but I still am so fascinated by this man's life. So, yeah. Anyway, peace out, scout people. I shall see you soon. Bye.